I just got shot in the face with motor oil. Hey guys, welcome back. Are you ready to change your oil? Because I sure am. Well, let's do this. You're going to need to grab some supplies, some oil, some gloves, a funnel, something for your oil to fall into, and a wrench. You're going to need to locate your oil pan. There's mine. If you go under the front end of the car, you'll see the oil pan right there. See that little bolt on the left side? We're going to have to unscrew that. Grab your wrench and uh, loosen it. You won't need the wrench for very long. You can unscrew the rest by hand. Make sure you have your bucket ready because it comes out quick. Don't lose your little bolt inside the bucket in the process. Make sure to put it to the side. While it's pouring out, make sure you move your box around. Get it in the box, people. Once it's all done pouring out, screw that bolt back on. Don't screw it too tight with the wrench. You don't want to strip it. Clean it off, any excess oil that's gotten anywhere. Now you're going to want to go underneath the front end of your car and you're going to see the oil filter connected to the oil pan. See? There it is. You're going to want to unscrew that. It's untwisting super easy. I've done this one other time and it didn't untwist that easy. Usually you need something to get it off. And there it is. You know what I just remembered? We have to put oil in the filter. So we're going to put a little bit of oil in there already so that we don't dry start the engine. I think that's what it's called. Fill the filter about halfway and put a little bit of oil on the rim too. Now just screw that bad boy back on. Oil is everywhere. It's all up in my hair. But we did it. I'm gonna put it now I put a glove on. I'm gonna put put a glove on just to tighten this up a little bit. Because the oil is a little slippery. You're gonna wanna make sure you screw that on there nice and tight. Voila! Now it's time to open up the hood, grab your oil, grab your funnel, and locate your oil cap. Bam! There it is, right next to your dipstick. Unscrew the cap, put your funnel in there, and start pouring your oil in. My Bronco needs about five and a half to six quarts of oil. You can look inside your car manual to figure out how much you need. Once that's all in there, put your cap back on, wipe off any excess oil you may have spilt, and there you go guys. You're officially a badass that can change your own oil. Alright guys, we're done. We did it. Everything's good to go. Oh, I just put my head on top of the oil. Oh my god, am I fucking struggling right now? <gasps> this tripod is a dick! Everyone that's driving by right now is getting a shot of my ass. <laughs> oh, filming videos. It's fun. What the fuck? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um... What did you do? Did you put new tire, rims and tires on? No, I painted it myself. You like it?